Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you Okay, so we meet again uh, and in this video it is a continuation from the previous video that is the presentation of an organizational hierarchy or your assessment number one. So in the assessment or in the assignment what you have to do is to record a video presentation of two or two different organizations okay so in this video i'm going to present to you the examples that you can do uh, for your presentation okay so as you know you have to choose two different types of organization company and you have to find the similarities and also the differences so you cannot have too many differences or too big of a similarities or too big of a differences so make sure that it is about the same however we uh, even though it's the same there is also some differences that you can identify okay and the second reminder is that uh, since you are working together uh, it's a pair work so you're working together with a partner so make sure that you have uh, ample or enough time for you to present okay so make sure that you divided your presentation tasks um, in fairly okay in a fair way all right me both of you have equal opportunity for you to present Alright, so without further ado, let's take a look at the first sample of the uh, presentation here. Okay, so the first presentation that I'm going to show you is the similarities and differences or the comparison between two airlines company that we have in our country. That is Malaysia Airlines and also Air, Air Asia. Okay, so as for the introduction... Malaysia Airlines is the flag carrier of Malaysia and a member of the One World Airline Alliance, serving more than 50 destinations worldwide and operating over 300 flights a day. Malaysia Airlines operates flights from its home base, Kuala Lumpur International Airport. Meanwhile, AirAsia is Asia's largest no frill and hassle free airline, which is based on the low cost carrier concept in Malaysia. And Datuk Sri Dr. Tony Fernandez introduced this low-cost concept with his belief of now everyone can fly. Okay, the background. Malaysia Airlines was established May uh, 1st of May 1947 okay, in Kuala Lumpur. And uh, MAB commenced operations as the national carrier on 1 September 2015. And mass headquarters is situated at Sultan Abdul Aziz Shah Airport in Subang, Selangor, also known as Sky Park. And at the same time, uh, Air Asia Berhad is an established uh, in 1993 uh, with the operations in 1996. It is the first and the first main base is the low cost carrier terminal or LCCT at Kuala Lumpur International Airport. Air Asia is well known as Malaysia's low-cost airline and even Asia's largest low fare. The Air Asia subsidiaries are the likes of Thai Air Asia, Indonesia Air Asia, Vietjet Air Asia, and Air Asia Red Tex. Okay, so this is uh, the mission and vision for both for Malaysia Airline. Okay, the vision is. Uh, an airline uniquely renowned for its personal touch, warmth and efficiency to be the world's uh, five-star value carrier and to be airline of excellence. Okay, and the mission, the mission is to provide air travel and transport services that rank among the best in terms of safety, comfort and punctuality and make Malaysia Airlines one of the leading standard bearers for the airline industry in terms of safety, efficiency and quality of service. So as you can see, the vision for Asia, uh, Air Asia is to be the largest low-cost airline in Asia and serving the 3 billion people who are currently underserved with poor connectivity and high fares. And to, uh, the mission is to be the best company to work for. Okay, and employees are treated as part of a big family and to create globally recognized Asian brand okay to attain the lowest cost 
and to maintain the highest quality product. So you can uh, take a look at or you can identify and find out the vision and mission for each of the company that you are comparing. Uh, I think it's available easily in their websites. Now the background of the chairman for Malaysia Airlines. So these are some of the similarities. The chairman, okay, uh, Captain Izaham bin Ismail is the CEO of Malaysia Airlines. However, for A Asia is Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Kamarudin Meranun. So you can uh, read on your own the background of the chairman. Okay, so for your presentation, make sure that you present uh, properly and make sure that you do not just read from the slides. Sometimes uh, what you have on the slides is only the guideline for you and please make sure that you do not read everything exactly from the slides okay now this is the organization chart or the hierarchy of the organization for Malaysia Airlines there's uh, the chairman and also the board audit committee and the board ethics and governance committee board safety and security committee okay and also they have the board risk management committee, board governance ethics committee and board audit committee. And meanwhile for AASIA, so these are the differences. You can see that uh, the differences between the two uh, organization chart. Uh, for AASIA, non-independent executive chairman. There's a non-independent executive director. Okay, non-independent non-executive director. Alright, so if you still remember in the previous video while I was explaining to you about the assessment, I did mention that you have to give the full term of every job description or the job title uh, in the organization chart. So as you can see here, there's no uh, short form used or, uh, you know, for, to, to explain the uh, the hierarchy or the job description here okay so you have to full use the full form and do not use the short form for example CEO CFO and whatnot okay all right so these are the services offered by both uh, airline carriers Malaysia Airline uh, and also A Asia all right so these are there are some uh, the services as you can see they offer th there are similarities in both uh, airlines carrier and there are also differences so you have to highlight both part so what are the similarities that they have uh, to offer and what are the differences between uh, Malaysia Airlines and also Air Asia right so this is uh, what I mentioned before the similarities both are airline services, both offered products and both engage in trading and services industries. So the differences could be on the design and also the prices offered, uh, the tickets, you know, the prices of the tickets offered by the airlines is different. Okay, so this is the latest updates for both uh, companies. So currently we don't know under these uh, circumstances there's a lot of uh, updates going on so feel free to provide the latest updates of the current situation of the company how are they doing uh, currently okay so these are some of the achievements from both uh, airlines and these are some of the awards and also recognition Okay, so, so far that is it, uh, 12 slides, that is enough. And make sure that the presentation is between 6 to 8 minutes and that both of you have to present. Now, let's take a look at another example. Okay, in this example, in the next example, it is between uh, Maxis and DG. So, what are the similarities and what are the differences? Obviously, first you're going to start with the background. What uh, the both of the companies is all about. Okay. And then the history behind it. Right. 
Okay, so next, uh, the mission and vision of each Maxis and also uh, DG. Okay, this is the vision and mission for Maxis and this is for DG. The organization chart, okay, I think this is for Maxis. Okay, so this is uh, the person behind uh, the behind Maxis, I think. Okay, so this is uh, the organization chart for Maxis. So as you can see, this is not clear what uh, the organization chart is for. So you have to make sure that you properly, uh, clearly put it uh, in the slides whether the, the company that you are reviewing or that you are presenting. Okay, so this is the organization chart for Maxis. And this is the board of directors. Okay, so uh, next is the differences between the two, uh, Maxis and also DG. So Maxis, in Pahang, Maxis has the best coverage. Okay, uh, so that is the differences. So I think DG that is not uh, the coverage for DG is not that good in Pahang, perhaps. Okay, so Maxis plan offers unlimited SMS, free family room for all share lines. Right, so uh, you have to study both and look at the uh, similarities and also the differences. Okay, for both Maxis and DG, the similarities are both has prepaid and postpaid services. The network is very wide and fast. Both companies are from Malaysia and it is a network commonly used in Malaysia. Okay, alright, so the products are this like this one. And here are the services. Okay, so for DG products, so here are the products and the, the services is like this one. Okay, so this is the latest updates uh, based on the two uh, telco company. And this is for the latest update of DG. Okay, achievements for Maxis and also achievement for DG. So I think uh, if you compare between DG and Maxis, Maxis and DG and as compared to uh, A Asia and also Malaysia Airlines just now, uh, Malaysia Airlines and A Asia the 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 presentation is more uh, coherent, it's more organized. I know that uh, it's going to be difficult for you to divide. Uh, probably one person is going to choose one company and the other person is going to choose another company. So yes, you can do that. However, while you are compiling the presentation, make sure that it is well organized like what we have here in uh, between Asia and Malaysia Airlines. You know, you put it side by side next to one another. Uh, so that this is more, this is clearer as compared to like this one uh, between DG and Maxis. So you can see that, okay, like this is from Maxis. You can see that this one, DG, is another person's work. It's not, it's not the same. You know, the effort put is not the same. So it's, the organization is uh, not uh, really clear, right? Okay, so um, it's going to be a challenge. So communicate clearly with your partner how you're going to divide and then how your uh, what the presentations is going to be like who is uh, the division of the presentation so who's going to start first or whether you want to take turns okay all right it's up to you but make sure that both of you have uh, equal opportunity for you to speak and for you to present okay so i think that is all um all of the um, notes here I'm going to put it in Google Classroom so you can refer to it at any time that you want and if you have any questions related to the assignment uh, please do not hesitate to contact me okay once you have decided uh, once you have completed the um, the uh, search for you the literature the literature search after you have Google you know do your own homework about the companies and then you have decided the companies that you are going to choose 
feel free to uh, PM me and then ask me whether it is acceptable or not okay so always contact get in touch with me because this is an ongoing process so the presentation is due in week five okay all right so I think uh, that is all for this session in this video so again thank you very much for watching and good luck uh, in good luck in completing the assignment okay thank you assalamualaikum and have a nice day everyone